Hey everybody, Marcus here from ZManFitness.com and this week I'm going to talk to you about goals, specifically your health and fitness goals. Now what is your goal? Do you have it written down? Do you know what it is? If I were to come up to you on the street and say, hey, what is your goal for health and fitness for 2012? Would you be able to actually tell me what it is in a quantitative, time-sensitive, manageable, achievable way? That's a lot different than saying my goal is to lose weight and feel great in 2012. I could never hold you to that as a personal trainer. If you came to me as a client and said, I just want to lose weight, that'd be great. Take your shoes off. You've just lost two pounds. You're done. Where's my money? I'll see you next time. You need to make your goals something attainable and measurable. And the first thing to do is actually figure out what you want your goal to be. Do you want it to do you want to lose weight? Do you want to cut fat? Do you want to build muscle? Do you want to run a certain distance? Is your goal maybe to complete an exercise program at home like P90X? Something like that. Write it down. Okay? Once you know what your goal is, I'm just going to use an example for this and say I want to lose 50 pounds in 2012. You need to break that down a little bit. Starting with such a big goal like 50 pounds or running a marathon or something huge and daunting will usually give you that psychological, oh crap. I'm never going to be able to do that. I've never done it in my life. Why did I tell myself I'm going to be able to do it now? Break it up. 50 pounds in 12 months, that's less than 5 pounds a month. That's right around a pound a week. That's perfectly manageable. Uh, 1 to 2 pounds a week is perfectly healthy to lose if you want to lose weight. So it's easy to lose 50 pounds in a year if you break it up. So break it down by month. Say, okay, I want to lose... I don't know, eight pounds this month. That's two pounds a week. Then you break it up into the week. Say, okay, I'm going to lose two pounds this week. There you go. You just made your goal much more manageable. You've made it the smallest that you can make it. You've taken, instead of saying 50 pounds a year, to two pounds a week. Write that down. Okay? Once you've made it small like that, you need to definitely be able to quantify it, which you've already done if you've got that two pounds a week. You know you're going to lose 50 pounds a year. You know you're going to run a half marathon, which is 13.1 miles. You know you're going to finish P90X, which is 90 days. You need to put something on it that says, it, something you can measure. So if you told me, again, as a trainer, you know, I just want to work out, all right, go do a lap around my gym, you're done. You worked out. Goal achieved for 2012, go enjoy the rest of your year. But if you make it actually quantified into a number that I can track and I can hold you accountable to, it's a lot different. So you've got an account, you've got a, an actual number figure, something that you can measure. You've broken it down into the smallest possible thing. Again, 50 pounds is broken down to two pounds a week. Half marathon is broken down to maybe adding a mile to your run a week, something like that. Um, once you've gotten to that point, you've got it measurable, broken down. You need to make sure it's actually achievable. There's a difference between possible and achievable. And a lot of the stuff I'm kind of learning going through some of my beginning of the year training. And achievable is something you know you can do. I know I can go run a 5K. I don't know I can go run a marathon. I have a bad knee. I have a bad lower back. Um, take, take that kind of stuff into account. You know, if you've had knee surgery, back surgery, don't say that your goal this year is to run a marathon. Maybe walk a marathon that could be achievable. That could be possible. Okay? So think about that. Next thing you want to do is make it rewarding. Give yourself little rewards at your stages. You've already broken up into the smallest amount. You've made it measurable. You know you can do this. It's achievable. Give yourself a reward. Okay? Two pounds a week for four weeks. I'm going to lose eight pounds in the month of January. What are you going to do at the end of the month? I'm going to go out and buy a new pair of clothes. You know, buy a pair of shoes. I'm going to spend one evening thinking about nothing but watching movies and TV, no family, no kids. That's your reward. Um, you're going to go out with your friends and just have an enjoyable night. Something like that. Give yourself little rewards and write them down. Put, put all this like on your refrigerator or by your desk on the wall where you can say, okay, two pounds this week, two pounds this week. Check off everything. Once you have all your check marks for the month, you're going to do this. And it's written down. Something that you can see. Maybe go out and buy that pair of jeans, hang it up on your wall, and say, okay, by the end of March, I'm going to have lost, 
you know, 24 pounds or, or whatever, and I'll be able to fit into these jeans. Give yourself an incentive to get there. And finally, you need to have a deadline. You need to have a date that you're going to be done. And not just the end of 2012. Make it something that you can hold yourself to, like a special event. Say, my anniversary, I am this weight. Christmas 2012, I have lost 50 pounds, or I weigh a certain amount, which is 50 pounds lost. Don't say, I'm going to lose this weight by this time. Put yourself in the present. You've already done it. In your mind, you are there already. And that is going to help push you just a little bit more to get there. So, for example, for me, I want to get down to 10% body fat. I'm using P90X2 to do it, which is a 90 to 110 day program. So I have April 30th, I have completed P90X2, and I am at 10% body fat. That's my goal. I know I can do it. I've done other athletic programs like Insanity and P90X. So I know the, the program itself is achievable. It's possible. I can do it. I have a measurable quantity. I want to be 10% body fat. I have a date, April 30th. That's when it's going to be done. It co-aligns with the end of the, the program. Uh, my reward, I'm going to go buy a new wardrobe. I'm finally going to buy some really nice clothes that fit really well. So that is basically, you've just heard everything for me. And it doesn't go to the end of the year. Okay, it just goes until April. So I have a whole rest of the year that I can make new goals. Like maybe once I get to that point, I'll say, all right, I'm going to run the Disney Marathon in January and start training for that. But I'm not going to spend my whole year working on just that one goal. So I hope these tips were helpful. I was, hope it, it wasn't too much information. I know I've taken about eight minutes of your day. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, if you want any help with your goal, like if you just can't figure it out, how to quantify it, how to put it in terms that you can measure, send me a message, send me an email, Facebook, Twitter, texting. Um, if you're watching this, you should have some way to get a hold of me. Please do it. It's free. I don't charge you for sending me a text or an email or a Facebook message. So if you want to hit your goals and actually know what your goals are, let me know and I'm here to help. The rest of y'all have a great week.